And here we are, back with a new season of NFL football. This is the Stone and Cringe Show. I'm your host, Ryan Stoneback, followed along with Kyle Crane on the other side. How are we doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty good, man. How about yourself? Doing good. I got a baby in the background, so <laughs> I apologize in advance. But that's all right. It's nothing. It's a baby. What are you going to do? <laughs> so we are going to give you our week one predictions we're not we're going to try to make this a little shorter than our normal videos try to do this every week we'll, we'll see how that works out huh <laughs> you should be able to do it quick i don't think a lot of it will be too hard yeah so we kind of gave our overlay and predictions uh, about a month ago on what mm. we thought our way too early predictions were anyways <laughs> for the season. We're not going to rehash that. We'll just go into week one, give us our predictions for week one, and uh, go from there. <laughs> go week for week. Uh, at the beginning of each week, we'll go over how bad our predictions were the week prior and then give us <laughs> give you the bad predictions for the next week. <laughs> Uh, so here we go. Throw up on the screen there. We got we got this fun little. If you want to play along, um, this great website that I found, uh, PlayoffPredictions.com. Totally free. Uh, if you log in, you can create an account, log in. It'll save all your progress week by week. Uh, you can do this football, basketball, baseball, uh, college football, and. Uh, some other stuff looks like so here we are we should have uh, 16 games 32 teams wanted a week one um no particular order I guess we could do what is it Cowboys Buccaneers Thursday night yep yeah let's let's get into our prediction there so I guess it's not too hard of a game to predict uh, Cowboys they're I mean, even with Dak Prescott, I think the Buccaneers have this one in hand. Uh, but they are going to be missing Dak for the first few weeks, at least. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure exactly how long they think he'll be sidelined. Yeah, you never know with any of those injuries, man. They, they could tell you four weeks, but he could come back in two, or it could be six. And... Yeah, right. Those. It's so that kind of, that kind of shit's brutal, man. Seeing those kind of injuries. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> hopefully we don't have any more lung <coughs> punctures this year, though. <laughs> too yeah, no, hopefully we don't have anybody get anybody too hurt, man. I I, know. It will, it will, man. It's, I mean, yeah. it's going to happen. It's going to happen with the sport that it is, man. You just can't get away from it. Okay, so we got Bucks, right? No doubt yeah, about it. Yeah, I'm going it. Bucks all the way. Man. No doubt about it. Going Bucks all the way. Uh, let's, let's hop over to Steelers versus Bills. This feels like uh, the final year for Ben, doesn't it? It could be, yeah. I know that. I think you it is. You never doubt out Ben, but I mean, I believe that it is. Yeah, for sure. I don't see why he'd keep playing. He, he doesn't have anything else to prove. You know what I mean? I don't know yeah. why he's still out there hurting his body. I know he love for the game and all that stuff, but. So. Yeah. Um, But I got I got the Bills winning this. I know there's some people saying upset Steelers, but that Bills team is really good, man. So Yeah, I mean, Josh Allen's going to come out, have a great first half, get hurt. Mike Trubisky's going to help him win the game. It's going to be beautiful. Whoa! <laughs> there's, no, there's no Trubisky positive attitude talk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> now that he's not on the Bears, man, I hope Trubinsky becomes a Super Bowl MVP, man. <laughs> I don't. I talk so much trash about that guy over the last four years. <laughs> I don't want to eat my words, man. Take taxis. No, no, yeah, no. Okay. I never got, said any of that. It's not on Twitter. So. We got Vikings versus Bengals. Uh, do the Bengals? Oh, shoot, I didn't even think about it. Do the are the Bengals gonna have uh Barrow back? Probably not, I right? I don't think so. I need you to be my fact checker. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, 
No, I don't. It doesn't, he's not gonna play week one. Doesn't look like. Or no. Oh. It looks like yeah. It looks like Joker. he's gonna start. Is he really? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, he's gonna start. Damn. Does that change the outcome? No, I don't think so, man. I, I still think that Bengals offensive line still gonna struggle, man. The Vikings have a rather their defense isn't isn't horrible. It's their offense that's the problem. So And even I on offense they, they got a good running game, I'd say. Yeah, and they got a good running game and, and they got they got a pass game that you have no idea if it's gonna show up or not, but it's there sometimes, right, yeah. you know. So yeah, I take I gotta fight Vikings too. Yeah. I agree with you there. Uh let's do Jags versus Texans at Texas. With this Tyrod Taylor awesome. starting. Tyrod Taylor, yeah. Starting for the Texans. Texans. Watson yep. going through whatever hell he's going through. And we got um Heisman winner on the other side, right? Yeah, it's Lawrence, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, I don't even trust the Jaguars, you know what I mean, with Urban Meyer as the coach. I don't, that's my only problem with it is that, I mean, I'm a big Trevor Lawrence fan. I think that he's going to be good. I just, uh, I don't know if it's right now or if it's in a couple of years, you know, so. Yeah, This will sure. be, be a big game. I think that, I, I don't know, man, it's hard. I think the Texans, probably just because they have a better team all around, but. You never know, man. That's why it's a hard it's a hard one for me to call a call off. I'm gonna say Texans, but I'll probably live to regret it. I'm gonna say Texans, but root for the Jaguars. Anyway. Right. <laughs> yeah. I there's some truth there. They're I mean they're in Texas. It's hard to go against the Texans. Um Yeah. No, I think I, I do this is one of the closer games in week one. Yeah. Uh for sure. I think Jaguars could be an underdog win here. He, you know, it's first NFL game for Lawrence, first NFL game for Urban Meyer, or uh, <laughs> for. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he likes our picks, dude. <laughs> no, probably not. Uh, we got Seahawks, Colts, in the New I got Seahawks, Seahawks, dude. Who are the Colts? Uh, do they have wins or do they not? I don't know. <laughs> Who's their starting quarterback? <laughs> He's hurt, isn't he? Yeah, no, he'll play week one. Carson Wentz. Oh, man, that was a solid Colts team all around. And good, good comparatively to the Seahawks, they were a much better team, I think. Yeah. In terms of. They have uh, better, Colts have better weapons and stuff. Like more that, put but, together. Yeah, I don't know. We, what do you think? Colts, I definitely, I definitely root for the Colts, but I, I don't know the Seahawks. Man, Russell Wilson's hard to bet against. Oh, he for sure is. <laughs> what are the odds on that game? Seattle's favored by two and a half points. Are they? Then yeah. So, I mean, it's not. It's I'm not sure a they favor yeah. so hard. It's an indie though. That's a tough call about that. You gonna go Colts? No, let's go Seahawks. Yeah, I say we wait. We 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 we'll really see. We're I about don't trust to, Carson. Depending Wentz. on how healthy Wentz is, we'll yeah. kind of finally see. You know what kind of Wentz we're gonna get right for the season. Yeah, and that'll yeah. kind of determine how problems. the Colts are gonna do this year. Yeah. Okay, right. we got some birds going at it here. Eagles versus Falcons. <laughs> oh God, dude. Matt Ryan without Julio Jones, and uh, you got Jalen Hurts and that Eagle squad. That's man. It seems like forever since they won the Super Bowl, even though it was only like three years ago, four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> what a, it's that hasn't been that long. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been that long. Three, I think it was three, three Super Bowls ago, anyways. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. No, I think that's a, that's a tough one, man. I'm gonna Eagles, Falcons are favored by three points. 
but it's that's another one of those hard games, man. To really, I'd be willing to bet bet this one against against it, and I'd be willing to bet for the Eagles. Yeah, I'd say Eagles too. That's what I got on my list is Eagles. Throw a little bit of curveball in there. Everyone knows an eagle is better than a falcon, anyways. So, <laughs> uh, talking about it. talking about upsets, we got Browns versus Chiefs, which a lot of people that I've been be seeing game, at are thinking this is going to be the upset game of the week. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good game. I mean, you got you got the Browns who are going to have Odell. And Landry, uh, Nick Chubb, and Kareem Hunt, <laughs> all playing, all healthy. <laughs> yeah, but you uh, still got Baker Mayfield throwing the ball. You do. We still got Baker Mayfield, which I, I'd take him over half the quarterbacks in the league. So. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, I mean I definitely would too. But he's another one of those guys. This reminds me of like a Tony Romo. You don't know what you're gonna get this week. You're gonna get three touchdowns. You know, one pick for two hundred and eighty something yards. Are you gonna get the six touch, the six interceptions with no picks with for forty two yards? I feel like he is. <sighs> I gotta go. Say, I'd go safe though. Go with the Chiefs. I mean, yeah, you can't bet against Mahomes, dude. Can't bet against Mahomes. I have a hard time with it. It depends on the team he's playing, but he's just really good. That team's really good. We got Herbert <clears throat> versus Magic. Chargers versus the football team. <laughs> the football team. Uh, I got Chargers, dude. Yeah. As much as I love Ryan Fitzpatrick. Nah, yeah, and if Chargers. Aaron Rodgers didn't exist in the world, he'd probably be my favorite quarterback. <laughs> well, not. Yeah. Chargers got Stafford now, right? So <clears throat> that makes no, that team a lot more difficult. No, they got Herbert. Is it Herbert? Who got yeah. Stafford? All oh, the Rams. Rams. That's right. Yeah. Okay. They're both LA teams. It's dumb. I get them yeah. mixed up. Yeah. So Herbert. I mean, well, I like Herbert, right? So Herbert. Yeah. Right. Herbert fucking had an amazing rookie year in 15 yeah. games. He threw 30 some odd touchdowns record. his rookie year yeah. in 15 games. Yeah, dude. Like, if he builds on that even just a little bit, uh, yeah. the Chargers are going to be a playoff team for sure. Yeah. So. Well, they got a – what's their division? Fucking. They got a pretty tough division, I'm pretty sure. AFC team. I want to say they're in the Chiefs division. but I'm not Chiefs sure. division with the Broncos and the Raiders, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's a, that's a so, tough. So, yeah, when you got to face the Chiefs twice a year. Twice. <laughs> and the Broncos twice, which aren't ever fun. I mean, none of those teams are fun to play, right? I mean. Yeah. Broncos are huh. nitty-gritty. Don't have a quarterback, but they're nitty gritty. So yeah, Chargers Herbert over Fitzpatrick. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, as that's the rest of the team. They're pretty equal, I would say. I mean, you can maybe give <laughs> the Chargers have better weapons with King Allen, but and Washington might have a better defense, but that's offense always wins. In yeah. this in this day and age, anyway. So we got Niners versus the Alliance. Dan Campbell. Oh, uh, 49ers, dude. No, I think that's a pretty easy pick for me. Yeah, if Garoppolo is healthy <laughs> for once in his I don't career. even think he has to play. I think he could play out there in a wheelchair, and I think he beat the Lions. Yeah, maybe. Man. It'll be interesting to see how the Lions, where the Lions go in their yeah. their strategy. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I mean, I don't... The team's just not very good, so... I, mean, I don't know, I guess. They could come out and destroy, but... I mean, golf, right? <laughs> yeah. So. With... Uh, Fuck! I don't even know what they have for what the Lions have for weapons. So. Nothing, dude. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, we got Dolphins versus Patriots. Um, I, I'm not a Tua fan, man. I'll be honest right now. Oh, neither of us are. We we've agreed on that one. Yeah. So I mean, 
Patriots obviously a better run team than Dolphins. That's I mean that's been true for twenty years. Yeah. When you hire a guy don't. like where the hell Jets have now? I forget his name. Adam Gase, is it? I think. I don't know, the guy sucks either way. Idiot. I don't know. I just feel like <laughs> I don't know, the Dolphins always play the Patriots tough every year. They no do what. for sure. They beat them. I mean, they've had yeah. good and games against them every year. I don't year. think that Patriots seems is any better than they were last year. I think they're worse. Yeah, they got some stuff around them, but I mean, with with Matt, was it Mac Jones back there? Yeah. I mean, you get rid of your veteran who could probably win you some games and and hope that this kid's good. I mean, I think he's a good quarterback, but that was in college. And, right. You know, when, when you play for those, I know. some of those teams. No like, one has any patience anymore, you know? No. None no. For quarterbacks. You're either good or you're not. Like, Brett Favre wouldn't have made it in the NFL today. Like, no, his early more. years were bad. Same thing with, who was it? Who was I thinking? Was it Drew? Br- no, it was Peyton Manning. Like, Peyton he Manning threw was... like 10 more interceptions and touchdowns his rookie year. <laughs> yeah. Well, so did Rodgers didn't have a great rookie year either. Even though he sat for... Yeah, his, his four, first four, full year. Far. His first full year, his first yeah. His first full year was, was... wasn't super great. Yeah. Yeah. But... I think it takes time. It always takes time to adjust, but I get it. But I always think I'm with you. I think that there's a, there's a benefit to sitting for at least a year or two. Mm-hmm. just to practice and catch up and get what's going on and stuff because there's levels man i don't remember who talked about it i think it was hawk let's talk about a mcafee that like all these high school kids are studs in high school then they get to college and they realize the work level and the workload and how how fast everybody else how strong everybody else is and then they just stop playing because they just can't compete with it and the nfl is no different the nfl is just another way level above that you know right because I remember people used to say that all oh, like Alabama could beat the worst NFL team, and that's just not. That's just not even. I don't think that Alabama would stand a chance against an NFL to an NFL team. No, even the worst one. There's just because yeah. these guys are the best of, they play. Where you're just full of a team full of a bunch of people who are really good, but the pace is different. So for sure, but I don't know. We rambled a little bit there. Not surprised. You got Patriots. Yeah, I think I'm on the side thing. I think Dolphins. Might win, but I'm with you. It's it's hard to bet against them, even with a rookie quarterback. Yeah, but I'm with you. I just don't like Tua. <laughs> so we got we got the Jets versus the Panthers. <laughs> the Panthers. The Panthers. That's... Panthers Who's have. Oh, I know his name. It's uh, Sam Darnold. There. Sam Darnold. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, matchup of the week <laughs> yeah, yeah. for that only yeah. reason not because it's going to be a good game man uh, uh, I wonder what kind of vibes Sam Darnold was feeling <laughs> yeah Um, I I, I mean know. I wish the best of luck to Sam Darnold for sure man I mean as I said I already said my case on my thoughts on Adam Case but <laughs> God, the Jets are bad. There's no way I mean, the Jets they both, win this game, man. The Jets, they got that rookie QB, right? And he's from BYU. He had played right the That's the one where he went to BYU. He was a stud in college. He's one of those sneak, dude. Some of those guys that play in some of those unknown schools, man, they can come out and be killer NFL quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. No, so I, I believe it. But... Drop and crush, but I'm with you. It's... I mean, you got McCaffrey, He's a big right? dude, man. He's 6'3". Panthers and McCaffrey still. Pounds. They do, but they still have to throw the ball eventually. <laughs> well, yeah, he catches ball. <laughs> He's a dual threat running back. No, but I'm saying, but you still got a guy, a guy to get the ball to him. <laughs> Darnold actually didn't even have that bad of a year. If you look at his stats last year, it was it was not good. But as far as how people were criticizing him as much, it wasn't really. He was that getting old. banged up a bit too. Yeah, so I, I'm with you. I think Panthers. I'm not gonna. I'm not arguing with you. Yeah, yeah, we gotta, yeah, we gotta pick a home team eventually, here, right? <laughs> yeah. Now we got the Packers versus the Saints. Yeah, it's Bridgewater now, right? <laughs> no. Who is that? Bridgewater is off in La La Land. Oh, yeah. Off in the Broncos. Ooh. This is James oh, Winston. Yeah, Winston. There we go. Yeah, that's what Mr. I'm 30 for 30. 
30 touchdowns, 30 interceptions. <laughs> I think I think he's a solid quarterback. It's yeah. another one of those cases. I think he's where, another one of those ones I mean, he threw, that should have sat. He threw 30 touchdowns and 5,000 yards, you know, two years ago for, you know, Tampa Bay. You know, he had two great wide receivers to throw to as well. Yeah. So he also threw 30 interceptions. So. Yeah, I just think Packers, dude, I don't – I think that offense is going to be too potent. Yeah, it's hard to not be biased, but it's Packers. <laughs> yeah, it's always are we going to? Unless, unless the Packers just absolute shit in these first like first four or five weeks, there's like almost no chance we bet against them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So unless they go yeah. seventeen and zero, we're probably going to get something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got, let's go Cardinals Titans. We have some tough games, but yeah, we Cardinals got. Titans. Oh yeah, Cardinals Titans. I got Titans, man. That team is. I'm not gonna lie. There. I got Kyle Murray on my fantasy team, so I'm rooting the Cardinals. <laughs> well, yeah, you got to root for what you got to root for, right? Especially kind of football. But actually, now that I think about it, I think I might also have AJ Brown. So <laughs> go both teams. Well, it's... Go both teams. Go both teams. Yeah. I think Titans will win that game, dude. I think they're just going to be too too dominant across yeah. the board. Oh, yeah. Titans have Julio now, don't they? Yeah, they got Julio now. Julio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, Titans, Titans are going to. God, it's a murder, dude. I think Titans could be a sneaky, like, AFC championship game contender. Yeah, well, they, they were could close, sneak right? in there, they I think. Yeah, we're, yeah, they were close last year, were they? Yeah, I think they lost to the Bills, right? Yeah. So. So. Yep. Sneak. All right. Titans. Okay. Oh, that Cardinals team is good, though. Anyways, uh, Bears versus Rams. Um, Rams, dude. Yeah. That defense is. Scary, Aaron Donald man, man. is scary. They're, that whole that whole team is scary, good dude. And uh, I just don't. I mean, do you trust Andy Dalton? I trust Andy Dalton. The Red Rocket! (laughs) (laughs) I mean, they got a good running game, right? Bears, the running game's not horrible if they stick to it and they just let Dalton do the small stuff. Yeah, Allen Robinson, wide receiver. Yeah, they have some talent, They got talent there. I think that, you know, that's a team to really watch this year to – see what happens yeah they're they got a good the defense is decent they have a decent team their team's not horrible they're just that was one of those I teams cursed by a shitty yeah. coach yeah yeah exactly <laughs> dude if they had a better coach they'd, they'd be a really good team um yeah, i got rams dude i think that's pretty easy yeah for sure okay we got broncos giants they're broncos dude yeah teddy bridgewater yeah, that's what we're talking about. I think right uh, I think they need. I think Giants need to move on from Jones. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, you can give him this year, I guess. You, I don't know. I don't think they drafted he, anyone, but he's another one that got beat up a lot, dude. He still had a decent year last year. His year wasn't yeah. horrible compared to another one. He's another one. You of got Barkley though, too, running the ball. Mm-hmm. Who is a fantastic running back. That's gonna help you out no matter what, but yeah, I agree. It's who knows, I guess, right? Yeah, you never know until it starts. You know what I mean? It's it's one of those things. So, okay, Monday night game. We got Ravens at the Raiders. Um, That's a. I got Ravens, dude. Yeah, I was about to say I gotta go to the Ravens. I gotta I gotta believe Lamar is gonna. Yeah, dude. have a kind of bounce say, back I'll... here. Yeah, I think Lamar, he's still so young, dude, and you see how much talent he has. Sure. It's insane, dude, because he can throw the ball, too. Yeah, people, you know, he's like a, people said, you know, it's almost like a, go ahead, go they ahead. were saying, like, that he got figured out last year. What the fuck? What? He won, like, <laughs> did they win, like, 14 games or some shit like that? I know. They played, like, great fucking football. So. He's only lost, like, three games his whole career or some shit like that, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's lost more than that. He's lost at least three playoff games. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah. Eleven and four. It went with him at the helm last year. Yeah, eleven and four. Eleven and four. Which I mean, eleven and four is still great. Sixty-four and a half. Only threw twenty-seven hundred yards, but threw twenty-six touchdowns to yeah. just nine interceptions. And obviously, his running game is big. Well, he was hurt too, right? So yeah, he um, missed. A, he missed a game, one full game at least. I don't know what he missed yet. for if he got hurt during the game or not. I'm trying to figure out his rushing here, and he ran for another thousand yards. Yeah, that dude's hard to freak. <laughs> That's what I mean, dude. He's hard to stop, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, six point three yards an attempt at run. You just run him every time. Go yeah. first down, second down, first down, second down, first down, second down, touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, and then every now and then you throw a little booper to the tight end. Nope. I got some. Oh yeah, that's right. They lost J.K. Dobbins. Yeah. This yeah early. Yeah, that sucks. Look at the. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I just Ravens all day, right? I don't. Okay. Yeah, to, I, I mean that's. A, I don't know what I'm trying stuff. to figure out here, but that's what we got. Yeah. Let's see, do we have any divisions not winning a game? No, it looks like every team from every division is winning at least a game. <laughs> yeah. Even the NFC East, we got the Eagles winning one. Well, they have to because they're playing. <laughs> A horrible team, right? <laughs> that Falcons team is pretty bad, man. That East, that Eastern Division, man, is pretty bad. Well, that's what the Bucks are lucky too with that South, dude. That South is the Panthers, the Saints. I think and the, the Falcons. Saints can be you sneaky. Get... You know, they're they get a we'll good team around. It de- kind of depends on how good Winston's going to end up being. I mean, there's a lot yeah. of possibilities. Yep. Definitely. So. Uh-huh. This is cool. This is what we got. Save it in your memory. NFL Week One predictions, everybody. Yeah, that's all we have to say. Um, go Packers. <laughs> go Packers, dude. We're not biased. No, nope, not biased at all. <laughs> <laughs> As I sit here and I do my Packer hat. Right, man. I think that about sums it up, right? Yeah. Quick list. Cool. Kept it under half hour. We're good to go. Nice. <sighs> Let us know in the comments the uh, what you think of our uh, predictions and uh, what you enjoyed by this. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you can't subscribe because you don't have a YouTube account, get a goddamn YouTube account, then subscribe. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Since 2021, you got a YouTube account? (laughs) And we'll see you next time. Roll the outro.